Well, I want to thank everybody for uh, for joining us tonight. Um, the first half, I, I, I'm going to just share maybe some um, examples or scenarios on the 30 day blitz tracker. Okay, because I'm finding oh, uh, if you can see that probably not because the way the the camera's angled, but I'm sure you all know what this 30 day blitz tracker looks like. Um, you should know it very well, I hope. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's interesting because um, and some of you might be experiencing the same. Um, sometimes you just spend the day at home and you're wondering, oh my gosh, I haven't got anybody, anybody to my tracker. I got to find, find somebody. I got to try to connect with somebody. I got to meet with somebody, right? So one way that I have been is um, I posted a couple of Instagram kind of fun stories and posts and stuff. And then that last one, I did the video uh, for Thursday. There was a hundred views. So I just went down the list to see if there was anybody there that, you know, and there's one guy that um, I follow him on Instagram. He knows my son, Luke. He hangs out at the music studio and he's a pilot and he's always posting videos. He, he flies, for, flies for private people. So he always posts videos of him flying with, with music playing in the background. And there was one time he was playing Luke's music, my son, because he, he does his own music. And, and he follows me and I like his stuff and he likes my stuff. So I just decided, oh no, and then he um, saw that post that I did and said, I'd like to join you on Thursday. And I was like, yes. <laughs> so I've got him coming. And then there was a couple of other um, likes and I just connected with them and say, hey, there was one, um, somebody that I knew that used, used to live in Grand Valley and then she's moved, she moved out east and now she's moved, moved out west. And I just found out by sending a message on um, Instagram through messages like, hey, I see that you're, you know, you're watching my posts. Um, I just wanted to connect again. I know it's been, oh my gosh, probably 20 years since we've talked, right? And then, uh, so we scheduled a phone call. So there are ways of connecting with people um, when you're, you know, not physically getting out to meet people. But I'm going to give you another example. This morning, I went right to the gym. There wasn't anybody there that I didn't, it was quiet. There was a few people in class, but there wasn't really an opportunity to, I tried to talk to somebody, but it, it just didn't work. So, uh, and then later I went to visit Rose. As you know, she works at the Meridian and she sits behind her desk all day. When I go there, she likes to go for a walk. She goes, can we go for a walk? So we go for a walk. We're walking around Orangeville, walking, 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 walking. And just before we we're going to go back to the bank, the stop um, crossing guard let us cross. And there was nobody around. It was just Rose and I. And I thought, oh, it's kind of cool. Crossing guards. It was, she was there for, the, for when the school, a school was out, right? So we're, we're, I walked right by her. Rose and I walked right by her. We crossed the street. And Rose and I looked at each other. And we, we knew. Okay, I said, we should talk to the, to the crossing guard. So we turned around, went back. And I said, um, I can't remember how it started, but I, uh, I said, I said, I said, how long have you been doing this? I said, um, do you, oh, I said, do you get paid for this? She goes, yeah, actually I do. I said, oh, that's awesome. I, and, and I said, how long have you been doing it? She goes, well, I was doing that when my kids were little. And then I just kept doing it. And now they're ones in grade eight and ones in high school. And I said, oh, what high school um, does your, does your daughter go to? And uh, she said, oh, Robert F. Hall. And I said, oh, I said, my, my son went to Robert F. Hall. And we just, you know, just trying to get on our islands, trying to, trying to connect. And then uh, Rose said, have you, are you open to looking at another way of generating income part-time? And she said, oh, no, I'm not interested at all. And you can tell Rose just kind of went, Shoo. and I said, how about taking care of your health? And she said, yeah. I said, how about supplements? She said, well, kind of, I, I don't really know a lot about supplements. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, do you do smoothies? She goes, I do. And I said, ah, I said, you know what? I said, Rose and I are part of this company. I said, I've been using the products from this company for 30 years. And, and Rose said, oh my gosh. And I've been for about 10 years now and we love them. And our smoothies are awesome. And I said, if I was to drop off a sample at your door, would you be willing to give them a try? So anyways, all I'm saying is, I'm going to be dropping off samples, but 
I, we literally had an opportunity to talk and connect with somebody and I almost missed it, right? So just a matter of asking questions, right? And just starting a conversation. It could have gone nowhere, but hey, I'm going to be dropping off samples this week, okay? So I would like anybody to share a, a scenario of where you've had to hesitate, start a conversation, and it's actually panned out where it led to, I mean, they might, they might never come on board, but the reason why Stephen has this set up, we might talk to two, two people a day in 30 days, that's 60 people, and four might join, but one could be your future director. Do you see? Okay, it's, I, I've talked to so many people, I've got two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, nine people on my list. And I'm confident that two will come on board. The others will surprise me, right? But it's a numbers game. You gotta keep adding people to your funnel. So once you get into the habit of, of making it an effort to talk to two people a day, even after March is over, could you imagine what can happen? And I have to go back now, 30 years ago, where my upline, Flo and I, we were, we were, they had a contest. It was three and 30, right? Joan, do you remember the three and 30 contest? Sign up three people every single month. And Flo and I did three and 30 every month for the first year, second year. Because I think we won, we both won awards. We we're on stage for a convention that following year but we signed up three people every single month consistently. I think it was for two years, okay? Because that was a contest, three and 30, three and 30, and we got pins and everything, okay? So it just, it's a great incentive just to keep you motivated. So any, any other examples that you wanna share? Try to pull it out of your hat because it's been a few days now. Hopefully you've got some, some stories that might inspire. Can I, can I share my story, the experience, not so much the person? Sure. Is that I started, I started, well, first of all, I'm going out more. So that's a plus, yeah. right? Intentional, intentionally going out more. And I, a couple of days I went out sort of aimlessly and that doesn't work because <laughs> you ha have to go and go for a reason, right? Today I went shopping. <laughs> so yeah. you can't just go and walk around. That's right. what I found. It doesn't work, right? And so I, I talked to a few people, but some of them were incomplete. And because of, you know, people are working too as well. Yeah. And so, but just the fact that you're talking to them, it's leading, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I think it is a win that I'm going out. And the fact that we're talking to people. Today, yeah. I um, I gave a card, my card, and I got her email address to the, the cashier. She was very friendly, you know. And luckily she was way at the end. So, you know, the other people, at, in line couldn't hear that we're talking and they're waiting in line you know but you know so I so I got her email address right but sometimes it's it's incomplete but I have to not get frustrated about that Just right the fact that you're doing it and then eventually you'll get you know so so it's not mine is going okay the fact that I'm going out but not enough I don't feel I'm getting enough complete conversations but 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 you're practicing Joan yeah. I think just just practicing and doing it you're going to get better at it, right? And I learned I learned a, a lesson. Whereas I did connect with a, a lady, um, kind of walking out of winters. She didn't have a mask when she was in winter shopping, and I noticed that. And I thought, what a brave girl! I said, I wish I could just walk around winters without my mask because next week they're going to say, oh, no mask, right? Now all of a sudden we can walk around with no mask. But I thought, no, don't want to tick anybody off, right? And uh, so I asked her. I said, oh, I said. I said, you're brave. I said, how did you feel walking around? She goes, oh, nobody bothers me anymore. She goes, I was really nervous in the beginning, but my husband and I haven't, anyway, just from on that. She's blonde, isn't she? Isn't she no. blonde? No, 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 this is in Bolton. In oh, Bolton. because there's another Bolton. blonde, a couple of no, blonde. No, 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 she's Italian, long hair, really pretty young, young mom. And you could tell she worked out. She looked like she was a fitness kind of person. And uh, I thought I have to talk to this girl because she was walking out with me. But I have to say, I made a mistake. We started talking about health and wellness. She was interested, intrigued. Um, she, her and her husband, the odd time we're taking isogenics. And then I just shared with her a little bit about, you know, have you ever looked at quality and, 
and potency in this. And um, would you be willing to try a sample if I had some? She goes, oh gosh, yeah. I gave her the sample. So what, 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 what do you think happened right after I gave her the sample? I pulled up my phone and I said, I, I, do you think I can maybe give you a call and touch base with you uh, to see how, which flavor you like best or, or how, you know, so we can connect after so I can send you some information. She goes, oh no, do you have a card? Mm. I gave her my card. I'll, con I'll, 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 I'll text you as soon as I get in my car, she said to me. And I thought, I said, oh, I said, I said, do you mind if I just get you on my phone so I could, so I could touch base to make sure that, you know, oh, I know what I know what I said. She said, I'm really sensitive to dairy. I said, well, I said, I have a vegan aversion. I said, if you want, I'm going to church in Nobleton on, she lives in Nobleton on Friday. This is Thursday. Um, no, Friday. It was Friday. I said, I'm going to church tonight in Nobleton. I could, I could leave a sample of the vegan on your doorstep. Well, she didn't want that. So obviously she, her guard was up. But the biggest mistake I made was I gave her the sample before getting her contact information. Mm. And she hasn't contacted me. Will she? Maybe. Maybe she tries the shakes and they don't upset her tummy. But I wasted vanilla chocolate and berry flavor shakes. And she's probably going to give them to her kids. I don't know. But anyways, always get information. Get their contact information first before you give samples. Okay. Heather. You have your hand up. Well, this was uh, about a week ago, and um, Lynn and Wen have already heard this from our meeting, but um, I was in a store, and I was the only customer in the store at the time. I thought, oh, no, there was one other person there. And uh, so I was at the very back. I was getting some eye drops for my eyes, and I um, was at the back where the prescription counter was, and then I found the eye drops on the shelves, and I went up to the front where the cash was and the lady who was at the back, she's not a pharmacist, but a pharmacy technician. Um, she came up to the front from the back and I said, oh, I'm sorry, I could have just gone to the back where you were. And she said, oh, that's OK. I get my steps in this way. And I said, oh, you're counting steps. You keep track of your steps. And she said, oh, yes. She said, I, I said, how are you doing with that? And uh, she's all pretty good. And I said, you know, I just entered into a fitness challenge, a weight loss challenge, actually. And um, she said, oh, that sounds interesting. And so, you know, I really wasn't going too far with that, but she was making out my bill at the front. And um, as she was doing that, she was actually looking down at the counter. And I noticed that her necklace was one of those little mom necklaces, just a little chain that says mom. And I said, Oh, I like your necklace. I said, I've got one too. So I said, so you've got children? And she, and she said, oh, yes. And, and four grandchildren, two grandchildren or whatever. And I said, oh, really? Do they live nearby? And, and she said, oh, yeah, my son's just down the street. He's the tattoo artist. <laughs> and uh, so I said, oh, that's great. I said, um, I um, as it happens, we have a, a, a health talk on Thursday. So this was, I think, Tuesday or something, whatever. We have a health talk on children's health. Would you be interested in, in uh, hearing that? It's on Zoom. She said, oh, yeah, I would. So I said, oh, that's great. I said, well, if you give me your email address and I can send you the link. And so she just grabbed a piece of paper and she wrote it down and gave it to me. And um, so anyway, I, I connected with her. She couldn't make it that night, but she's actually texted me today or emailed me. She said, oh, I'm so sorry. I couldn't make it, but keep me informed, you know, but that was it. Just, just noticing something, right? Mm -hmm. One little thing that she said about counting steps. Oh, she's, you know, conscious of that. And mm -hmm. then, then the little necklace. So, you know, she's a mom or a grandma, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Just asking so. questions, starting conversations. Um, the one, anybody else? Example or a story or, yeah, Serena? I was into uh, the variety store the other day and uh, next door there's um, a hair salon and I used to go there years ago and I thought, oh, I should, I should go in there and see Glenda. I know the lady who, who owns the store, so she's probably about my age. So um, I had a catalog in my car. So I took a catalog in and she was actually foiling somebody's hair. So her hands were, you know, full of dye or whatever. I said, oh, no, no, that's okay. I said, I just wanted to, um, 
to drop this off and just give you an idea of um, what I'm involved in. And I see your hands are busy. That's okay. But would you mind if I, you know, followed up with you in a couple of days? No, oh, yeah, sure, sure. No problem. So I messaged her today and, um, you know, offered to share some more information. And I said, oh, happy International um, Women's Day. I said, cheers to women in business, kind of, you know, like <laughs> you know, trying to, you know, give her an idea that this is what I'm doing as well. And um, she said, oh, I'm really busy right now. Um, I, I really don't have the time. Life is kind of crazy, but um, you know, maybe in a little, you know, another few weeks or whatever. So I said, yeah, no problem. Just keep me in mind. And I said, I'm just putting it out there, you know, for what I, you know, do. And you see a lot of people in a day and I, I'm just trying to get out there what it is that I'm involved in and, and left it at that. So I'll follow up with her maybe in another month or so, but just to kind of put the bug in her ear, just to, to let her know, um, what I'm involved in. Yeah. So it was good. It was good. Yeah. And again, just adding people to that to that funnel, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just keep adding, keep adding. Anybody else? I have yep. a story. Oh, sorry. Um, so, so, uh, Pauline first, and then Pauline, then you'll Thank you. Yeah. And last Friday, Uli and I were doing the business transaction. And for that, it was completed. We were chatting with a with lady, and we were talking, talking. And she told us she had asthma, suffers from asthma. So we introduced her to New Life. She was something interested. We gave her our business card. And we, we, we connect this week, we'll connect. Yes. She Excellent. was to what we had to tell her. Yes. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Pauline. Oh. Leonie? Okay, well, um, the other day, uh, a couple of days ago, I was at work. And there was this lady at, at Winners, okay? I work at Winners. So this lady, she came in and she picked a bunch of clothes and really sharp and whatever she tried on, really, really sharp looking, very professional looking. And I said, wow, those are professional looking the way, you know, um, what you've picked. <clears throat> I said, really nice. And she said, oh yeah, I got to get dressed up and stuff, you know, for what I do. Well, that was an open for me because I said, oh, so what do you do? <laughs> she goes, <laughs> she goes well, I am a therapist, like a counselor, you know, like a physiotherapist, not physiotherapist, uh, uh, what do you call it? Therapist. Yeah, and, and psychotherapist. And then I said, oh, I said, oh, I said, that's great. And she said, yeah, I help kids with, you know, all the different things she was telling me. I said, oh, all right. And then I said, hey, I said, you know, would, I said, I can't really talk here too, too long. And, you know, I have to watch what I'm saying too. I said, would you be interested? I said, um, in hearing about how nutrition can help us, you know, with with um with what you're doing to supplement that, and she said, yeah. And so I I told her about New Ways, uh, not New Ways, about New Life, and and then I said, um, it's a supplement company and all that, and just very very quick, and and she said, yeah, that'd be great. So I said, okay. So I said I was going to invite her to the talk on Thursday, right? And she said, okay, yeah, just send me, send me some information. But before that, I said, do you have a business card? And she said, yes. She gave me a business card. And she says, I'm trying to get the word out there uh, for people because she's trying to expand her business. I said, oh, great. I said, because we have great networking and we just talked about networking. So she seemed really interested. So, you know, I'll have to follow up with her. So we'll see where that goes. But I got her business card. So that's the thing that 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 turned out good for me. So it's following up. For sure. Excellent. Thank you. Yulali, you're muted, hon. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer after all those positive things, but um, I, I haven't seen my neighbor, one of my neighbors. I haven't seen her for quite a while. I thought she was away. As it turned out, she was walking towards the mailbox. So I thought I just got, and I was actually planning to go drop off a piece of mail. So um, I, I really wanted to stay away from her because I hadn't seen her and she didn't have on a mask. But anyway, she started talking. So I had on my mask so I made sure I stayed away. And she said, oh, I said, how have you been? And she says, oh, you know, not well, but you know, she says, um, I'm okay now, I'm doing better. Well, she just prattled on and on. And she was complaining that she had sinus issues. And then she was having pain in her shoulder. So I said, well, what are you taking for the sinus? And she said, Advil something or the other. And I said, and how is that working? Oh, well, you know, I take it all the time. And then when it gets bad, I take the Tylenol. 
And I said, well, that's even worse than the, than, than the advert. So then she says, yeah, I know, but you know, I'm, I'm, when I get tired of one, I go to the other. And then my doctor said, I can, uh, he'll get something else. So I said, are you ever open to looking at something that might help? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. She says, I'm taking the Advil. I take it all the time. So I said, okay. And then she continued the story that she had breast cancer in October. And I said, and you're taking the Advil? And I'm, oh, yeah, that's fine. You know, but... Then I, when they call back, you know, I'll go and visit and I'll see. And it depends on what they give me. And I said, okay, you take care. <laughs> it was like this. But, that, but Yuli, you know what? Just you having the, the initiative to have that conversation, that's okay. You know what I mean? Like we, we're all going to get that. Like, like right. I said, yeah. we're all going to, it's just a matter of getting them in, making an effort, making a conscious effort. Mm -hmm. to connect with somebody and start a conversation because eventually you'll find that person right yes but so that's, just, it's, it's, not, it's not a debbie downer and it's good but like we need to understand that it, everybody you talk to it's not going to be a perfect end right. and they're not all going to say yes because right. realistically you know it, it sometimes does take four or five or were they seven to nine exposures or can our contacts before they do come on board so that's why it's important to keep that communication and keep that connection going right um so i'm going to give you an example like um when i connected with the bath fitter guy the first guy that i talked to when he was doing the the bathroom for my mom i mean i gave him samples he loved them he doesn't feel like he needs supplements. He's young. Um, but on Super Bowl night, I just texted him out of the blue because I knew he played football. And I was with my sister and I just texted him. I said, I said, my team is winning. He's like, no, my team is losing. And we just, you know, something in common, right? So I'm still connecting with him. So talking to him. And one day I'm going to say, okay, are you ready now to take, to take charge of your health? Right? Who knows? Something might happen or something. He might see something on TV or, or something might happen to his girlfriend where all of a sudden, okay, I, I think I need to start paying attention to what's going on in my health. Right? So again, you just never, ever, ever know. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Any other? Can I, can, yeah. I, can I just say something? And just to take off from uh, what you, Lily, was saying, uh, it's exactly what I also talked to one of my coworkers is she's pregnant and she says, Oh, I'm so pregnant. And she was, um, she was telling everybody she was pregnant, which was very obvious because, and she wasn't feeling really good. And, um, so then she says she has headaches, she has this, she has that. So I said, have you ever thought of taking like, you know, like omegas for your baby when I found out she was pregnant. Right. And, and she said, Oh, no, 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 my, my baby's fine. My baby's healthy. And you could see this close right away. And, and I think, so I sort of step back a little because I think for me, I have to know when to be quiet. And I think mm -hmm. it's important because if you come off like, you know, then you become too sales, salesy. Yeah. So um, she was suffering and, and she was just, I thought, okay, let her suffer. She wants to suffer in her own way. That's fine. But what I'm saying, is, and not in an unkind way, but I'm just telling her, hey, you know, I, I just put that little thing in her head. So that's up to you, but she's totally closed before I could even say anything. So sometimes it's, you know, step, baby steps. So maybe she'll be open at some point. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's a no per se, you know, so it's just maybe, you know, baby steps is what yeah. I'm saying. Cause I have the same thing too. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just wanted to share that. Excellent. Thanks. Heather. Okay. You know me, I'm back to the resources. You mentioned the fellow who's really, you know, he's great, he's young and all that stuff, but he's in football. Did you know the neolifeathletes.com pages has three football players, NFL players, both Hollisters, Cody and his brother and Morton, Morton, or some, yeah. So that's what I do. I say, oh, fabulous, yeah. you know, yeah. and then go to the other end of it, the high-end athletes. Yeah, I will do that. I did send him Luke's video on the sports injuries. Uh, but yeah, I will send him the athlete, uh, the, the dot com, the website. Good idea. Thanks, Heather. Nada, nada. Yeah. yeah, I've been I've been trying to connect on Facebook, you know, when I'm home. That's one thing. So I've been trying to get in touch with some of the nurses that yes. I work with. And I had two so far. The first one, I think I posed the question too soon. Right? I Well, first of all, you know, she worked in labor and delivery. 
and I said, hey, how are you doing? And uh, we had, you know, we had liked each other. So that was great. And she said, well, she's dealing with, she's a nurse um, that helps, um, I guess, people on treatments like Remicade for Crohn's. And she said, oh, my son has Crohn's, right? And I should have waited a little bit. And I said, uh, would, would he be open to taking a look at a, you know, natural pro She hasn't responded as yet. Whether, ah, okay. whether she's busy or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I should have kind of waited. And another one out uh, was a birthday. I wished a happy birthday. Um, that That's Mary uh, Pauline. And so I know her husband had a liver transplant, but I didn't ask her about that. And so I said, oh, so when are you retiring? So we talked about that, but I'll wait a bit. Then I'll talk about her retirement. She's retiring soon. Because I, I feel, you know, it's just too soon sometimes. Yeah. So I have I feeling. You have to feel... You know, you have mm -hmm. to feel it. So I, yeah. Yeah. I totally, yeah. Because I used to be that person where I just give them all the information on TranN and why they need to take it now, right? Because we know they need it <laughs> now, right? You're so excited. You just wanted to share, right? You just wanted to, to understand the importance and the value of this product, right? And uh, yeah, the same thing happened with that young boy in the grocery store that I met. I was trying to buy oat milk. Did I share that? I, I just want to repeat myself if I, right? So I, I gave him samples. He has Crohn's disease. He watched all the videos. He read the documents. I followed up with them. He loved the one flavor. He had two more flavors to try after his hockey practice. So I'm waiting to hear back after the other. So I'm just going to be patient. Like, I'm just going to wait it out. It might be next week, right? It might be on the weekend. But again, but tomorrow I'm going to try to talk to two more people. So, the, you know, so eventually you're going to get to a point like, oh my gosh, okay, who do I need to follow up with today, right? You're going to have so many people in that funnel that you're not going to feel like, oh, I have nobody to talk to, right? I have nobody to follow up with. Whereas when you have all these people that you're con constantly contacting and connecting with, eventually you'll have that whole cycle and a bunch of people that you're talking talking with on a regular basis. So yeah, just keep putting people in that funnel. Anybody else? No other stories, scenarios. It's always good to get ideas and other ways of connecting. So grocery store, the bank. I love walking in the um, in Zares in the health food aisle, the health food section where they sell all the, you know, the um, non dairy milks and because you know people are in there for a reason right they're trying to look for alternatives right for for their health that's one of my favorite places to to kind of walk around. We're good okay so um, I'm not an expert I've I've struggled even after my one Instagram post Serena I tried to go back and recreate it again I went to Cody's yesterday but you know what? it's just a matter of practicing so I'm just going to give you maybe a couple of tips on the story okay on what I did the other day and a lot of people saying how did you do that I said I don't know I have to talk to Cody again she was with me when we did it so she's trying to help me uh, to get better versed on on Instagram and doing stories and reels and posts and and um, I'm finding that um, and Alan Blaine was awesome when when he did his little um, explanation on you know don't always talk about meal life right so that's why I I do some posts just on tips on healthy eating on you know. Um, uh, some some positive affirmations, some phrases, and and um, and even my last um, video that I did, I didn't talk about meal life, but I talked about an event, and and I just shared how you know what to look, you know, are you curious about your supplements? Do you know the source? You know, um, are, are you aware of the importance of looking at quality, purity, science? And I posted that, and I said, if you want to know more about what to look for in a supplement then why don't you join us on Thursday night at eight o'clock? And that's when that pilot reached out to me. He said, I'm interested in learning more, right? I didn't mention Neo Life, right? So um, again, just ge generating curiosity, building curiosity. So another example, Serena, I know you love posting um, the bottle of train and I did too, bottle of vegan D. It's better not to have the, the logo in Neo Life It'd be better to maybe to put a pile of grains on a video, right? And put a piece of bread and then just, and then, then what I would do is share, say, do you know that 
these are critical nutrients that we can no longer get in our diet. Do you know that the importance that these nutrients play in our body? These nutrients made an impact in my life, period. Where do you get this? What are you talking about? Right? Tell me more, right? So building curiosity. So that's something that I was thinking of doing. But then what you do when you're on your Instagram, there's a, a caption button. So when you're doing your video and you're talking, I thought when you see all these words pop up, that you have to type them in. The words actually pop up and create those words as you're talking. Okay, so that I'm just going to get you to go to Instagram. And then you're going to go to, for those of you that are on your phones. Oh my gosh, my bearded pilot is, is the first, see that? I, I talked about him. He's the first guy that just popped up. It looks like he's at the CNE looking down at the Toronto <laughs> lights. <laughs> Isn't that funny how things just happen, right? And I hope, I hope he joins us Thursday. You'll get to get a chance to meet him. So anyways, Instagram. Plus, the plus sign, you're going to post a story. So I, I, right now, we're just going to do story. Reels are a little more difficult. So we're just going to do something simple. So when you click on the story, then you click on your, on your camera. And there's a little downward arrow button. And you click hands-free. Nada, I can't see what you're talking about. Okay. Are so, you going to show us on? I, 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 I can't because oh, okay. I'm on my phone. I just thought you, I just wanted to guide you. Write the, note, the points down, the notes down as I'm sharing. And then you can practice even later. So you go to Instagram. Do you know how to post a story? Yeah, when you've posted a story, right? Yes, not well, not well. I, I just, I had, to, I had to practice and learn myself. So there's a, it goes if you, as if you're going to post a, a story. So click the plus sign, click story. Oh, the plus sign. Thank you. Story. All right. Got okay. it. And then you click on the camera because you want to either take a picture or do a video, right? And make sure it's it's pointing to you. Like have the camera so you're not videotaping out. You're going to videotape yourself. Now you already have pictures on there. What do you do? Well, no, I want you to go to your camera because you're going to video you're, you're going to videotape yourself. Oh. This is like you're going to be doing a video. Okay. So when you click on the camera, make sure like I can see myself right now talking on my phone. I can see the camera. I can see myself talking. I'm looking at the phone, but okay. I can see myself. Nada, but we're not really going to do this, right? Because I really no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just getting your thoughts and you can go tomorrow and practice, practice. It took me like I was doing this for half an hour before I came on tonight because I actually forgot. How okay, I did so it. That camera is pointing towards me. Yes. And then there's a, do you see where it says, um, I'm assuming that everybody has the same, but they're looking at where it says you can either type the letters, there's a boomerang, uh, there's an arrow, down arrow, and it gives you more options. Now, you see that? How do you get the camera to, to point to you? Um, at the very bottom right, you can flip, there's a, it, it, there's arrows that you can flip it around either to looking at you or, or, or in front of you. Yeah, so, and that is, sorry, where'd you say, do you see the caption for the captions? Because I'm not seeing that. It's these uh, arrows right here, Yuli. Not, not yet. You don't see the captions yet. Right okay. now, we're okay. at the arrow, and I want you to put right. it on hands, you have to click hands free first. Where do we uh, where do we see hands free? <laughs> did you click on the arrow where it gives you all the other options, extra oh, options? Gotcha. Yes. Okay. We'll, yes. Go, we'll go back again, Yoli. We'll, we'll do all these steps and then whatever you didn't get, we'll go back again. Because I'm I like to repeat and do, repeat and do. When you click on hands free, <clears throat> now you'll see um the filters. Someone said to me, wow, your skin looks so nice on your video. I said, yeah, that's because it wasn't really my skin. I clicked on the filters and I picked just follow. That's one of the filters that makes your skin soft. So where, where's the filters? Because what I've got right now is um, it's like a circle, red circle with a little red square in it and then an X. 
But beside it, but beside it, do you see a picture of a girl? Do you see some colors? Do you see some other circles that you can slide back and forth? Oh, but, uh, further down below, I think. Yeah. yeah, click on one of those and you'll see the different filters. Okay, not seeing that really, but. You know, when you come on Thursday, Cindy, I'll, I'll do it with you on your phone. Okay, okay. But you're like me, you're hands-on girl. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when you click the hands-free, so I'm going to do the video, okay? You're going to do the caption after the video is recorded, okay? So if you click the video, can you see yourself, Eulalie, yet? No. Yep. Not yet? Okay. What does Oops. the hands-free look like? What, what's the sign for the hands-free? It just says hands-free. Oh. Yeah, if you click that arrow, um, Eulalie, there's an arrow at the bottom of the, the left-hand side. That's what she my doesn't have her camera on first. I don't think she has her camera on yet. Do you have your camera on your video on video mm -hmm. camera? No. How are you doing, Heather? Heather's smiling. She looks like she's done. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just playing with the filters. They're yeah, fun. <laughs> just playing with the filters. Then when you press the button, and I'll, I'll practice you after you, Lily. When you press the button, so now I'm going to videotape myself talking. Okay. Hang on there. And the circle is turning, 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 because right now it's videotaping me, 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 videotaping me. And then eventually it's going to stop. And then I press the button. You know, and it's and the circle's turning, 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 because right now it's videotaping me, videotaping me, videotaping me, videotaping me, videotaping me, okay. videotaping me, videotaping me, videotaping me. At the very top, there's a little picture of a happy face, the caption. For all the location the mention. So I'm going to press captions. So now all the words are coming up. Video it's all the words are now coming up on the screen while I'm talking. How did you do that? So there's a caption at the very, it's like a little, it's like a happy face. It's like a little guy smiling, but all your, there's uh, options on what to do. Like it's um, it's like a little, it looks like a um, happy face. Oh, hang on, I can describe that. Hang on, it's annoying. <laughs> um, happy face on a page, right? Happy face on the. You click on it, but all these other options come up where you can write on it, you can caption it. Oh, you can, I see. I see. You can ask questions. You can do um, how would you call it? Um, so it's captions. Captions yeah, is the one. Yeah. And that's where the words come up and it'll just create the words on the video. And then you just click post and it goes to your story. <laughs> so just play around with it and you can delete it. If you post it and you, I don't like that. You just go quickly, go back to your story and delete it. I've done that. Yeah. I yeah. can't find my, I can't find the video thing. Where do you videotape yourself? With that, it, that circle. There's a big fat circle in the middle of your camera at the bottom. You got to click on camera. Yeah, I did that <laughs> hand free. And then you have to hit it. I took um, a picture, it took a picture of me. No, there should, when you click hands free, there's the video, the, the, the did you do a filter yet or no? You're just going to do as is. Yeah, I did, but there's no okay. video. And yeah. I just took a picture of myself. Um, What's the picture? Yeah, no, yeah, sometimes I know sometimes it's, it glitches hang on you're right for some reason sometimes it doesn't hand oh you got to click hands free hands free yeah and then the video it has to be hands free for it to be a video I can't see any caption okay the caption is after the video is done oh I have to do the video first you oh. have to do the video first but when After I the video, video is done at the very top, there's like a little, it's like a little, little square with a happy face and it's folded over. You click on that and all these options come up, what you can do to that page. And the options are for the captions, hang on. When you click at the beginning and you, you um, click on the plus sign. Yeah, okay, let's start at the beginning. Okay. So you post or you click live? No, you're not post. You're going to story. We're doing your story. Oh, story. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. That's why. 
Yeah, your story. Okay, you click on the plus, click on your story, click on the camera, then the arrow, click on hands free, and make sure the video, you're videotaping your, unless you want to videotape right. something else. Okay. All right, I could be taping a story. Right, and you could be videotaping your grains. So you, know, you might not be looking directly at you. You can have your grains on the table, videotaping the grains and talking. I don't get my camera to turn to me. Um, there at the very bottom on your phone. Did you have an iPhone or an Android? An I iPhone. Where's guys? Who who has an iPhone? I have an iPhone. How do you? It's, make in, the it's in the bottom right. It's two arrows. They look like they're going around in a circle. Like they're oh, they're just right. there's two arrows going. My camera is in the middle. Is in the middle. So the camera in the middle. Oh yeah, click on that. Oh, right click here. On click on that, Yuli. Press that. Yeah, press that. Now at the bottom right somewhere. Oh, what's showing? See, now? it is it is the bottom right. I'm showing it there. She has to allow access. I think you have to allow access. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you had to do that with an iPhone. Thank you. Oh. Thanks, Serena. She probably has her privacy set. Like she, oh, so she okay. Just, yeah. Is it there? There it is. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tap for photo or hold for video. Video. Is it is is the video videoing you or 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 in front of you? Uh, is it is it is, that's all it's saying mm. yeah, well, you, you and i'll you and i'll practice another well you and I, I just wanted to give you an idea so who who kind of figured it a little bit i got the video and then so then i put the caption and i press it and then it says friends so i can select the friends and then what you press send did you do the captions already? Well, there's a little thing when you, you know, the happy face and there's this thing carrying yeah. a placard. So I put that placard thing, just a little. Did, did you play the video under the work? Did you do, actually do a video? Yeah, I did inadvertently, yeah. <laughs> okay, did you, did you play it? Yeah, it's playing now on my, yeah, I can see myself. And can you see the words come up? What you said? Uh, Oh, no, not the words, just a picture. It's a, it's a little graphic thingy of a picture. That's it. No, no but, but, but when you when you clicked on captions, it should have the word. Did you actually do a video of yourself talking? Uh, it's a video, but I wasn't talking. Oh, I no, didn't. No, she wasn't there's, talking. There's, and there's no captions. You have to talk for it to be captioned. <laughs> <laughs> no, what happened was I was taking a picture. Of my, remember, I said it came out as pictures, and then I must have pressed something, and it was videotaping me and it became like a circle and this red line went around yeah, in a circle yeah. you, but you had to talk mm. to yeah, I didn't realize. those yeah. are the words what that when you go back and click caption then the captions come up okay okay and again we'll, we'll practice, just practice 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 and uh it's actually kind of fun it, it's a little nerve-wracking in the beginning but once you again nothing is it's, it doesn't hurt because you haven't posted anything right it's just practicing can you just send it to yourself? Um, yes, I think you. No, I think if you post it, because uh, post it, it goes up friend, on the story. It'll go up on the story. I don't think you can. You can unless you can send it via message. Close friends. It says that. So yeah, but then, then they're all, all to all your close friends. But you can select that because I see some selections. Oh, select, select and send it to you. If you can just send it to you by yourself. Yeah. Or okay. Yeah. A direct message, like direct message in in Instagram, right? So he'll only get it, and then you can look at it to see what it looks like. Just have fun with it. Again, just another way of connecting with people that follow you on Facebook or Instagram. Okay, I'm going to do what I'm. My, one of my ideas is that Cody said, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my fruit and veggie. Whereas I'm going to have my broccoli and, you know, the LDC and, and then do a video um, and talk really quickly, but it's going to be quick, 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 quick. 
And then, you know what I mean? And then it's going to be done in sections and then the words are going to pop up, right? So I'm going to try that next. I'm going to try that. She's going to come over and help me. But yeah, just play around with it. Have fun with it. Serena, you, I know you'll get creative now. I can see your, 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 your <laughs> smoke coming out of <laughs> You know, you like being creative. It just takes practice. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And again, oh, sorry, Wen. Wen, you posted a few stories. I've seen some of your stories. They're kind of cool. Really? Yeah. I mean, in that Instagram? Uh, I was on Facebook. Facebook. No, well, Facebook. I, try, I try to post on Instagram, but I never see them. So I have no idea where they go. <laughs> but I just noticed that Jim Brassfield is following me. <laughs> <laughs> it said, well, it well, follows me, and do I want to follow back? Sure, follow Jerry Basso back. But when I post on Instagram story, I do both Instagram and Facebook story. I have it going to both places automatically. The story, the story is uh, is forever. It's not 24 hours, right? No, story's 24 hours. That's why you got to keep putting them on. Oh. oh. That's why I keep doing it every every day. I, I try to, and if I don't have time to do a video, then I'll do a quote, right? So there's got to be something up there. So story's 24 hours, post is is forever yeah okay yeah we'll skip 48 hours oh, sorry. Oh, 48 hours sorry 48 hours no no sorry no 7 48 right now oh thank you <laughs> so when you're practicing <laughs> just put it in your story so so it's 24, hours. 24, yeah, hours. Sorry. 24 hours for the story and yes. we got 10 minutes before we go over <laughs> to the other side <laughs> thanks john <laughs> Okay. So again, I, I, I know, I know Yuli, it took me, I, again, I did it. And then I, the next day I had to go drive over to Cody's again and go, help, I can't figure this out. That's the only reason why I'm, I'm able to do a little bit more with you tonight. I was a little, I have to be honest, I was really nervous to show you guys tonight, but some of you picked it up. So I must be doing something. You did good. good. You did great. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and Yuli, I was like you, so don't worry. I, I totally get it. We'll, we'll practice. I'm still to be hands on. Somebody has to be next to me saying, press that, press that, press yes. that. <laughs> maybe, when your daughter, maybe when your daughter's home, I can guide you with her beside you. Okay. Because if, if these young people, they know how to do all this fancy stuff. I think I'll ask my grandson. I know. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny <laughs> awesome well thank you i think tonight was good and cindy i'm going to see you on thursday so i'm going to help you okay so don't worry yep. i'll have fun okay okay hey. awesome yeah, well thank you i'll stop i'll stop the recording so thank you for joining us and again you can watch this again if you want it's up to you guys <laughs> <laughs>